Can the Wolfpack Wrestling Club beat the Nittany Lions? Let's stop stalling and start talking wrestling. What's going on wrestling fans? My name is Josiah and welcome to the Fanco Wrestling YouTube channel. In, the, in this week's news, some exciting Penn State, Kale Sanderson, just RTC news. There's been a lot of that recently. The Nittany Lions announced that they will be taking on the Wolfpack Wrestling Club in state college on December 22nd. So this was announced via Twitter. Uh, Kill announced it was also announced on the Nittany Lion Wrestling Club Twitter uh, that this event will be happening on December 22nd in state college when the NC State Wolfpack will be traveling up to take on the Nittany Lion. So this is an RTC event. This is a freestyle event when both RTCs will actually be taking on each other. Now we really haven't seen any duels like this. And yes, we have had the RTC Cup, Flow Wrestling's RTC cup which was a cool event but this is something a little bit different this is just a straight up dual meet and now this is coming off the heels of the Tar Heel wrestling club announcing that they'll be taking on the spartan combat wrestling club on january 8th so we're actually starting to see a little bit of an rtc dual meet season take effect and and i don't necessarily even want to call it a season but there, there's something in the works, and I think that could change the future of wrestling. But before we talk about that, I have to talk about the lineups for both these teams and the potential matchups that we could be getting. So I'm going to be looking at which guys are at which weights. Uh, the, an inspiration for this video actually came from the Matt Geeks Rockfin page, which I will have linked up down in the description below, where Matt Geeks talked about the biggest matches that they want to see uh, at the at this event. So these this is the weights. These are the weights that you're going to be seeing. And man, just look at these. Just look at these potential matchups right here. And I'll be going through a couple of these. But look, I mean, sure, both both of these teams are stacked. The, the Wolfpack Wrestling Club had a strong showing at the uh, Flow Wrestling RTC Cup. Not as great a performance as they would have wanted, but it's still a solid performance nonetheless. Great weekends by a couple of their guys. Uh, Nittany Lions really have just been crushing these RTC events and just have been competing, competing, competing every single month. So it's kind of cool to see something different. Now, it hasn't been announced necessarily whether this is going to be a straight-up duel or a, a kind of a card like before with their events. It, to me, it's kind of seeming like a duel, which I would be all for, and I'll be excited for that we're going to see these two teams duel. So these are your potential lineups. And uh, of course, I have to say like there, there are guys who may go up, may go down, but this is just kind of looking at like the rankings where guys are ranked, where they've wrestled before and potentially where they could be. It, it's tough to tell some of these guys with the RTC. So starting at 57 kilos, we could see Thomas Gilman or Roman Robert Young taking on Jacob Camacho. This should be an interesting match. Uh, Gilman, I mean, Gilman's been looking like a total beast recently, but Jacob Camacho is coming off a strong and final season or not final season but end of season end of the NCAA season uh with the ACC championships but Thomas Gilman oh he's been looking like he's on another level ever since he transferred from the Iowa the Hawkeye Wrestling Club to the Nittany Lion Wrestling Club he pinned Pirelli in the most recent Nittany Lion Wrestling Club event he called out Spencer Lee which was like mind-blowing I mean may maybe not but just the fact that he called him out straight on air now, Robin Rova Young has had a pretty strong uh, offseason as well, wrestling in some of Flow events, wrestling, uh, beating Shelton Mack in a recent event. He's just been like, I, I love Roman Bravo Young wrestling. Either of these guys, wrestling G Jacob Camacho, should make for an interesting match. At 65 kilos with Zane going up against Kevin Jack and Tariq Wilson. Now listen, Kevin Jack and Tariq Wilson are they're great competitors. I, I don't think they're on Zane's level right now. Zane has just been... On a, he's, he's been on a tear since the World Championships. I mean, just re even recently, just teching uh, Reese Humphreys, t uh, beating Alec Pintelio, who had a great weekend at the Flow, Flow RTC Cup. Zane has just been absolutely crushing it, and he's just been looking stronger than ever. Uh, so, But I still think that could make for some interesting matchups between these guys. At 74, with Jason Nolf, Vincenzo, Carter Starachi going up against Tommy Gant and Hayden Hiley, and yes, there's a very, very, very exciting matchup here, but the other guys I want to throw into the lineup here are potentially Bo Bartlett or Nick Lee. We could see either of those guys. Joe Lee's probably going to find a way into the lineup at some, at some spot. Like, there are just so many guys that Penn 
State has not only their starting squad, but as backups, and, and, and I don't even call them backups because they can just throw anybody else in there, but as, like, they are just two, three, in some cases, potentially four levels deep at some of these weights, which makes their lineup just so strong. But the Wolfpack Wrestling Club still has some very strong competitors here. Now, Tommy Gant has had, he had a great weekend at the RTC Cup, but the interesting match here that we have to talk about is Hayden Hindley going up against Jason Nolf. I want to see that match. I mean, the last, the, these two wrestled, they wrestled in the NCAA semifinals, and as you may recall, there was a crazy scuffle with these guys uh, that it led to some controversial decisions. Some people didn't like it, some people did like it, even Jason Nolf called it out saying, I, I thought I lost that match, the ref kind of kind of gave that to me, but listen, either of those guys that year probably could have been NCAA champions, but the fact is now we could see those two going up against each other again in freestyle. So there will be some changes, but Nolf's been just on a tear recently, beating Bubba Jenkins, David McFadden, Jordan Oliver. That's that's his, how his year's been going. If he adds Hayden Hiley or Gant onto this list, man, he, he's got a strong uh, accolades this year. And that brings us to 86 kilos with David Taylor, potentially, or Aaron Brooks. I, like, that's the thing is, I don't know whether Penn State wants this to be like a full-out dual meet. They're going in this to win it, or they're just trying to get some guys certain matches where I don't know if we're going to see David Taylor or, or we're going to see Aaron Brooks instead. But they'll be going up against Trent Hiley, who had a, a phenomenal weekend at the RTC Cup, went undefeated, was 5-0, and I believe, uh, with wins over Drew Foster, Miles Amin, and Sammy Brooks. So t- Trent Hiley has just been on a tear. Then we also have Nick Renan uh, at 86 kilos as well. But David Taylor with a recent strong win over Gabe Dean. I mean, David Taylor is, he's world caliber. And I don't know if Trent Hiley's there yet, but it'd be exciting to see that match. I think I'd be more interested to probably to see the Brooks versus Hiley match. I think that would be a more interesting matchup and really make for some fireworks uh, at that weight. And that brings us to 97 kilos where we have Kyle Snyder, who we really haven't seen wrestle in quite a little bit of time, I uh, believe since you see, yeah since his injury uh, at Senior Nationals, but we haven't seen him wrestle in quite some time. Go, but he'll be going up against uh, potentially Mike Machiavello, who uh, actually excuse me, he, they did wrestle. They did wrestle. I'm rejogging my memory. They wrestled at the first Nittany Line Wrestling Club event where Snyder actually teched Machiavello. So. We know that Snyder can beat Machiavello. I think that's why it'd be maybe more interesting to see Nickel wrestle Machiavello uh, rather than Snyder. But if if Nickel and Machiavello wrestle, that'll be a good one. Then we could potentially see Michael Beard there, or an, I think Anthony Kassar uh, potentially there, or at 125 kilos. I mean, seeing Anthony Kassar jump back in onto the mat, I think that'd be exciting. You know, we saw recent rumblings with him and uh, in Gable Stevenson, but I'd, I'd be excited to see that. And at heavyweight, at 125 kilos, we have Greg Kirkfleet, uh, Neville, as well as Nick Wazdowski. Now, Nick Wazdowski is just world caliber. Although he has had the recent losses against Mason Paris, against Gable Stevenson, you can't take away from Nick Wazdowski that he is one of the best at, at 125 kilos that the U.S. has to offer. Now, Greg Kirkfleet is like the everybody's been talking about him. How he's go, how he's going to do? He had some great past event, recent events teching Hamida as well as Demetrius Thomas, just absolutely just driving through them, beating them pretty bad. But going up against a world caliber guy like Nick Wazdowski, I think that could pose some threats to him. And and I mean, if, if Kirk Fleet could do that to Nick, which I doubt it, but if he could, like, wow, minds are going to be blown. But as far as this event, like what is going to happen here? With these guys, I think the Nittany Lions are probably going to take most of these matches uh, unless they wrestle some of their guys who are two, three deep. But I, I'm not say I think that the uh, Wolfpack Wrestling Club will come to compete with some exciting guys like the Hiley brothers, Machiavello and Nick Wazdowski. I think that they will make for some fireworks at this upcoming dual event on December 22nd. Anyways, what do you think of this potential dual meet?